What is going on guys? This is Versus All Gaming with my review of Tokyo Ravens episode 16 and I don't know how they do it. Every every week this series just get better and better and episode 16 they were just flat out amazing. I definitely love that fight at the end because that right there was epic and, and the animation for that it was definitely beautiful. I was digging it a lot. So the episode starts off with Reggie he's there and of course we all know that he's going to protect these kids. And of course we have Harator who is definitely against this, but Natsume does calm him down. And so Reggie quickly leaves, but he has Shaver, he has them guarding the kids. So while, while, while they're doing all that, we see that this this operation that, uh, that dies in is now starting. And we just see all these like, uh, we see all these like exorcists, they, they are now storming these buildings. And we see one guy, he's actually working. But as soon as somebody, you know, requests to see him, he bolts out. He's just gone. And then then we go to, like, all these other branches where the, where, where the same thing is happening to them. We have all these, you know, all these, like, uh, all these mages. They're, like, they're storming all these buildings. And, of course, you know, they are checking everything to see if the guys are part of the, uh, the, twin, the uh, twin Horn Syndicate. And they were definitely arresting people, so at least it was working. But the uh, the main person that Dyson wanted to capture, it, it was this guy named Mikahara, and we see that that this guy at first he was actually you know a pretty nice guy, because he actually did save this little girl because she was thanking him and so was and so was her mother, and they would they were definitely you know grateful to this guy, but we see that he is definitely a wanted man. So now we have that that first guy that we saw that was like wearing that lab coat. He was actually talking to uh, Meet Mikahara, and while they were talking, they were like planning what 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 they should do next. But it was able for them to delete anything that, that could be used as evidence, and they had this one meeting spot. And so then we go to lunch with with our gang here, and they were all eating. But we have Shaver who was still watching them, and he was just giving him like this, this creepy dark look, like something definitely wrong with this guy. But we see every every time we went to him, he was like chanting boring over and over. And we see that he was like definitely kind of like giving uh, Harutora the evil eye. But we have Koyoko who had tested Suzuka because we all know that because she's a, a divine general, she just definitely know about the others. And she was saying that if this guy is it, familiar, that Reggie was actually banned from using and yet here he is now. So I'm guessing he can still summon them. He, he he can't just you know use them in battles. I'm guessing you know he's too powerful or something. But I actually do want to want to see this guy fight. But while they were eating lunch, Harutora actually dropped the chopsticks so he so he can head inside. And we see when he does, Reggie's there waiting for him because he wants to talk. So Reggie wants to know what happened between Ultimo versus Doma in that battle. And while Harutora was like telling him about it. We didn't really, we, we didn't hear it, but when we're getting close to the end, we actually see that, you know, uh, Reggie actually knows, you know, a few things. Like, he knows about that curse that Doma, I mean, that uh, Ultimo had used, but he, he also didn't know the, the exact process. He only, he only knew about the name. And, and, and not to mention that he also knew about, what, what else was it? Let me see. He also he also knew that you know that uh, the Ultimo was alive. Actually, he he, he was kind of like messing with Harator, but then then we see like there this one guy who who like walking in there, and I definitely think he is the guy that a Harator fought in the previous episode when they first went to the uh, Meguru Agency. I, I I do think that was him. Maybe I'm wrong, but I do think that guy was the uh, the same person. So after you know Harutora was done telling him everything, he was saying that you know he actually re remembered everything pretty well. But his uh, explanation that right there is kind of crappy, and he was also saying you know like ha ha Harutora, like even though you know he knows the spells and everything, he just lacked the power. Like something's off with him, and the gears that should be working together perfectly, they, they aren't spinning correctly. So so something is definitely imbalanced. And in Haratora, I do wonder, you know, why is that? Like, why can't he use his full potential? Because that right there, I'm definitely interested in. 
But then, then we then we see that you know Reggie here is kind of like questioning Hitler Justice because he he was saying after he become a mage, because that what Harator you know eventually wants to become, he was like wondering what what is he going to do next, and 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 Harator really didn't know, and Reggie was saying that you know if he doesn't know because Har Harator could you know already, already consider himself as a failure because he was a born a spirit seer. Then Reggie was saying that you know he'll he'll end up working some office job rather than being a mage actually doing something. So there you know Hardcore kind of got upset and even Cone appeared because uh, because Reggie he actually got mad because he spoke to he spoke to uh, Reggie I mean Hardcore spoke to him like nobody had ever done before. So of course Reggie got set got upset and Cone had to give in, like Cone had to step in. Because it was kind of like you could sense this like murderous vibe or him getting angry, so that that right there was like definitely kind of funny. But Reggie was saying that he should actually become a become an exorcist, and I do kind of see that actually. And but the the, uh, the main reason why Reggie wants that to happen is so that once Hardcore becomes an exorcist, it's so that you know he can actually fight him and beat him because he actually does not want to fight him now. Because it'll be way too easy, and he doesn't want to want to kick a dog while while it's down, but he he wants to wait till, he, till he's stronger so that he he can still do this, you know, kick him while he's down. But I said this time, you know, it, it'll be worth his while. But then we go back to this uh, operation that's going on, and we just see Makihara, and and all these guys, and we just see that they're all you know rolling up because they're planning on actually going out there fighting because now they they're all getting cornered. And we have all these exorcists that are trying like to break this barricade they have going on, and as seeing them, you know, use all these kind of spells like this one spell that has summoned a wolf familiar. That right there was actually pretty cool. Like the, the animation on that, it was definitely nice. But we see that like all these guys, they all acting kind of crazy because we see that their eyes are are all going glowing red, and the only one that that thing can calm me right now is Maki Hard. And we see that he's trying to keep everybody together rather than have them, you know, all going crazy and just making things worse. But we see after after the uh, our our exorcist here were actually going to break in, Monkey Heart realized that they had no choice but to escape. So they were using the flares to make a smoke screen so that they could all, you know, sneak out. But the, but the, at the same time, you know, that right there did not work out as we saw. Like we saw people getting shot. One guy, which are getting beat down, getting you know kicked, and then we had people you know jumping from the window. But I'm not sure if that right there was the exorcist or over those you know the uh, Yako the votes. So that that right there, I'm not really sure. But I think those I think the people that that we thought jumping, they were the exorcists. But we have Makihara, who actually you know makes a phone call with a contact, and we see that he was planning on escaping. But to the person that you know that, that he was talking to, it was actually Hirata. And to our surprise, you know, Hirata actually shot him. And not only that, he also finished him off with a spell. Like Hirata did not waste time. Even though this person was a comrade, you know, he, he uh, still took him out quite easily. And so now he now Hirata was on the phone with like somebody else. And we see that that Dyson. He actually came there because, you know, after all this time, he already knew that Hirata could not be trusted. And, you know, it was also a Yako, you know, devotee. So that right there was also, I'm glad that, you know, Hirata could not get the upper hand and Dyson already knew about him. So afterwards, you know, Hirata was actually planning on capturing Dyson or restraining him so that he, he could brainwash him to also follow the teachings of Yako. And then we get this awesome battle. Where where we have Dyson already, you know, being a mastermind here, as he was as, as he was like my my like my fucking the uh, the heck out of Hirata. So, so I'm sorry to use that term, but that that right there is definitely what happened. Like this this guy was just playing the mind games out, out, out of him, and so we have Dyson here who actually had the the upper hand at first because he was actually you know going to he he, he was actually going to capture Hirata and turn him in. But then Hirata actually, you know, surprised us by having these two powerful, these these two powerful familiars. I believe that that they were called the Imperial like pow powers. 
Not sure if I'm saying that right, but these guys were definitely looking epic, and they also looked pretty creepy. And so Dyson was like definitely caught off guard by this, but he summoned like his own two armor soldiers, but they they were certainly you know no match for them. So that right there goes to show you how powerful Hirata really is. I really thought that he was gonna win this battle because of, of how you know Beastie his his uh, summonings were, and even when, even when it seemed like you know. Dyson had the upper hand with that sneak attack. Hirata was already prepared and, and he had, you know, just like priestess come in and block one of those arrows. And so just when Hirata looked like he was going to win, as, as he had, you know, forced Dyson to submit, as he had one of those, you know, imperial, imperial beings, you know, hold that sword over his head, we see that like Dyson already won because he was asking Hirata all these questions. And, and he was like, like actually answering them, and we kind of learned that in a sense that that uh, that Yato has like two groups of followers. Of course, there are like those devotees and, and the real ones like Hirata. He is definitely a real like Yako devote because there is no way that you know these guys that are so powerless and cowardly that they're like running away. And we have Hirata here who just doing work. But then we have, you know, the majors at the school because y because Yato, Yato also wanted to to bring up new majors. So that that right there, like in a sense, definitely could that that right there in a sense definitely consider everybody that actually go to that prep school a follower of him. So it all makes sense. But once Hirata had fell into Dyson trap and and we see that that uh that the Dyson had like knocked him out with a spell we actually see that this whole persona of Hirata, it was nothing but a facade. As it turns out that Hirata, he is really, or she is really, Takiko, who we saw in the last episode. So that right there was like really surprising. I was definitely curious about this character, but I had no idea to expect that it was going to be, you know, uh, Takiko. That right there caught me off guard, and I do wonder, you know, why does she pretend to be Hirata and, you know, not herself? So that right there, I do wonder what is Dyson going to do with her now. And so then, then we go back outside with our friend. It was Koyoko, uh, uh, ha Haritora, and Natsume. And we and we have this one exorcist here who I came to them. And he he's also, you know, a Yako devotee. And he was like wondering, you know, why Natsume was doing anything, you know, for her followers. So this guy is definitely going, going to go on the offensive. And we saw in, in the last episode, he had defeated Harator pretty easily. So I do hope that, you know, we have a good rematch this time. Or we have Shaver here. He might step in and do something. Because even though right now, he is finding everything kind of boring. If he gets involved in like a fight or something, that right there should like definitely change things. But like I said, this episode right here, it definitely blew me away. The animation, it was beautiful. That fight between Hirata and uh, and Dyson, that right there was pretty freaking epic. I definitely liked that a lot. So I, I, give, I give the episode, you know, a very good rating because I loved it. But as always, please do not forget to like the video and subscribe because that really helps me out. And you guys take it easy. I will see you all next time.